overwhelmed by the currently exploding variety of Korean Beauty Black Friday deals this year? Well, fear not. I'm here to help you navigate the jungle that is Key Beauty Black Friday sales. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Ulrike. I am a Key Beauty and skincare content creator. I have been blogging about Key Beauty since 2015, so for a really long time. And since 2017, I've been compiling all the Key Beauty sales and deals that are relevant and are good on a block list. I'm doing this again this year for my blog. And just like last year, I also decided to do a little um, overview video. So I'm going to share a couple of tips. I'm gonna try and keep it short because I've already done a long, long video on this. So you can also watch last year's video. And then I'm going to share sort of a, a forecast of what to expect for some of the best known and most popular key beauty shops for Black Friday this year based on, again, the many years I've been compiling <laughs> Black Friday deals. Certain shops always kind of have the same pattern of deals and what to expect for Black Friday. So I'm going to just cast my predictions and you can also refer to the block list if you want to see what the deals actually will be in the coming days and weeks. And then I'm also going to share some product recommendations from each of the K-Beauty shops. So as I've said, I've already done a longer tips and tricks for Black Friday shopping video last year, but since not that many people might want to watch an older video, uh, I thought I'd do at least a little shorter version because I do think it's really important to know these things, especially about the Korea-based shops or Asia-based shops. Yes, style is in Hong Kong, not in Korea. And it's one of the big ones because there are a couple of things that it's good to know them so that you actually get some really good deals and you might not be aware of them. So the number one thing to know is price hiking. So basically shops such as Yes Style, Olive Young also does this, Style Korean 100% does this, Jolce does it a little bit but not as extreme and I know in the US Soko Glam has been accused of doing this in the past. I don't know if this still happens. Basically right before a sales event the shops hike up their prices to really sometimes absurdly high level to then be able to pretend that they're giving you a high discount but in fact it's still the same price or it's just marginally reduced so they might hitch up a, a, a 20 dollar toner up to 50 dollars and then they give you a 70 percent discount and it looks like a lot but actually it's just a couple of dollars you know it's a really shady thing they do but it's kind of just what you have to ex accept because truly most shops do this to a certain extent which is why it's really important to keep an eye on the pricing before black friday so that you don't get duped it's also a good idea if you have specific items in mind to compare the prices amongst the different shops and to also consider extra hidden fees that might occur. For instance, really high shipping fees. Certain shops offer free shipping, especially during Black Friday. So that might be a better deal, even if it costs a little bit more, but because you get free shipping overall, it still will be cheaper, right? And also if you come from, especially an EU-based country, then you also always have to remember that you have to add 90, 19%, I think, it's in Germany. I don't know how much it is in other countries, more or less, but always between like 10 and 25% taxes to sales taxes to your order as well. Especially in, your, in Germany, they're very, very strict about customs. So very rarely you can escape the custom fees. And just a little reminder, the custom fees are not something that the shops in Korea can have any influence on. I'm always getting asked, especially by Germans, oh, does Olive Young charge taxes? Do you have to pay custom fees when you order at Jolce? 
you don't pay it to the shop you pay it to your government this is a government charge this is a law that none of the korean shops are at fault for happening and they don't get any money from it just keep in mind that there might be hidden costs on top of all these seemingly good deals and it pays off to remember that just keep an eye on the prices the next tip i want to give you again i have talked about this in the previous Black Friday video as well, is that very often and at certain shops, you actually can combine a couple of coupons. You might not be aware of this and think you can only use one type of coupon, but very often you can have two at the same time and they kind of stack up on top of potentially even already discounted items. Olive Young is a very good example for this because, and I'll show you that with a screenshot somewhere, because you can use both a downloadable coupon and sometimes even multiple downloadable coupons plus a promo code, which gives you an extra discount. For instance, our influencer affiliate codes. You don't have to use those, but if you want to, and if you want to support a certain influencer, you can use their code again on top of the downloadable coupon codes and you get a better deal from that. My coupon code sugarpeach10 gives you 5% off your order. Again, it's your decision whether or not you want to use it or support another influencer, or there might very well also be specific promo codes for Black Friday. Again, refer to my blog list because I will list them all there. Apart from Olive Young, another shop that I also know does have stuck, stacking stacked up, does have coupon codes that stack up, is YesStyle. YesStyle, and again, I'll show you screenshot somewhere so that you know what I'm talking about. Yes, there always has two types of coupon codes that you can put in. One is the sort of, I guess, the, their own promotional code for the sales event, in this case, Black Friday. So it will be something like BF, yes, style 10 or whatever. Again, I will link the coupon codes list, the coupon codes on the blog. Once they get uh, announced, it usually happens sort of in the last week before Black Friday. And then you also have another field, empty field, where you can put in a promo code that is an influencer code. And again, feel free to use any influencer code of your choice. Mine is KeyBeauty50. I wish you would get 50%, but unfortunately you only get like two to 5%. But you know, an extra discount is an extra discount. And again, it is, as far as I know, it is stackable. So you get both discounts. Also, don't forget to sign up and register as a member. Uh, I know you will have to give your email address and a couple of uh, data points. Not everyone might be comfortable with that, but it is the best way to get all the good deals, especially those downloadable coupons that Olive Young has. And also Jolce has specific members only downloadable coupons. For those, it's best to register as a member of the shop and then, you know, just deal with the with the newsletters or whatever else you get. Really, this is the best way to get savings and also to get the announcement that the sale, ha sale has started. And the last really important tip that I think also not many people are yet that aware of is that it really pays off to check out Amazon because a lot of Korean brands now have US and even European based Amazon stores. So it is their original authentic products, but via you can use the Amazon services. So you will get free, free shipping or faster shipping. And especially again in the EU, you don't have to deal with customs. I know in the EU, Isntree is on Amazon Germany at least. Also uh, Haru Haru Wanda now has a Germany based Amazon shop. And in the US, so many brands, so, so many popular brands have their own brand shops. Anua is one, Glint, Hints, um, Haru Haru as well, definitely. There are more. Uh, most of the popular brands, especially the TikTok popular brands, have a brand shop and they always have specific Black Friday deals that can be really, really good. Dong Beanie is another one that has definitely has an Amazon shop. So make sure to check out Amazon. And again, I will list a lot of those Amazon brand shops 
on my blog. All right. And now on to the different sales that you can expect in the different deals at various popular K-beauty shops. And we're going to start with Wish Trend. Wish Trend to me, I, as a creator, I'm not as much of a fan of them anymore as I used to be, but that's kind of neither here nor there because for you as a consumer, Wish Trend still is a really good option and their Black Friday sales have always been some of the best ones throughout the years. The reason why they're so good is because they basically are the company behind a lot of really popular brands, predominantly by Wish Trend, Claire's, and I'm from. And on those home brands or in house brands, they always have really, really good deals around Black Friday. Now, weirdly enough, they already started their Black Friday sale. <laughs> Now, basically this week when this video comes out, I was very surprised by that. I would still be a little bit careful and cautious as to buying stuff now because I feel they might have some better deals and added coupon deals uh, as soon as the actual Black Friday week starts. But they already do offer quite a few discounts and reductions up to 70% all throughout their uh, shop so for their entire shop on most of the popular brands there they also usually offer free shipping with a lower threshold uh, at the moment i haven't seen a free shipping deal yet so again i would maybe wait a little bit and see if they don't offer better free shipping plus they always offer some type of extra coupon deal as we get closer to black friday and usually they also give you some extra freebies and samples so again you already are getting some good deals and if you just want to shop whatever the five i'm from products that you need and you get over the free shipping threshold anyway you can already start shopping but if you feel like you can maybe wait a little bit longer i would do that until the actual black friday week as for product recommendations, I haven't tried any of their newer launches because I refuse to uh, review for them <laughs> again because I feel that they just don't, I feel them, they're very exploitative towards smaller creators and I refuse to be exploited at this point in time after so many years as a blogger and content creator. Uh, but I have some forever faves that I still really love. Listen, the products are good. The company might not be great for influencers, but um, some of the co products are fantastic. And these three are some of my top super favorite products of all time. Number one, a product that usually is actually quite pricey. So I feel it's a really good one to snatch up during Black Friday from Wish Trend is their I'm from Mugwort Essence. This really is one of the best products for A, redness, and B, surprisingly, and I never quite understood why, <laughs> it's really good for firming and plumping. I remember distinctly going through this bottle and I basically had super bouncy skin. I really had that sort of chock-chock deliciousness uh, going on when I use the mugwort, I'm from mugwort essence. I have to say, I really do miss that product. This is one of the products where I feel <sighs> maybe I should give up my wish trend boycott that no one cares about anyway. <laughs> what good is so my moral, what good is my ethical stance with only a couple of thousand followers anyway? <laughs> No one cares. So maybe I will just start using it again. I don't know. This is a one ingredient style essence. Now, this is always a little bit tricky because um, it's not really just one ingredient, but technically it is 100% mugwort essence. But the mugwort, mugwort, mugwort essence, of course, the extract needs to be extracted into some type of medium so there will be something else in there usually water alcohol they usually also add some type of preservative and humectant so it's not really one ingredient but be that as it may it really is a fantastic product one of the best mugwort products that i know really um i think it's better than the misha one and it's just so good for soothing. It's wonderful if you have acne prone skin, super, super recommended. Another product that I feel is often overlooked 
is from their newer skincare brand, which I think really not that many people have on their radar. And it's called L E L M T. I think it's supposed to be Element. I don't know. It's a bit gimmicky brand name. But <laughs> I, when it launched, I tried their, uh, what's it called? Their Skin Illuminating Solution. And I really, really liked it. It's another product where I'm a little bit tempted to um, break my my boycott that no one cares about <laughs> because it's really fantastic. This really does illuminate and brighten your skin. It contains grape water and grape extract, which is really great for, again, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. And grape water is also a beautiful hydrator. I was always a fan of the Kudali uh, grape water, the Eau de Raisin, which you can just spritz on. And this is similarly leaves sort of your skin similarly bouncy and juicy and delicious. Plus, this uh, the, it has niacinamide, and it just really has a, a surprising, surprisingly noticeable brightening effect on the skin. It's also fragrance-free, alcohol-free. It's very, very gentle, as is the mugwort essence, by the way. So it works very well for sensitive skin, and I think it's a good one for mature skin. And my last product recommendation for the Wish Trend Black Friday sale is the by Wish Trend Propolis Energy Calming Ampoule. Now this has been relaunched, so I think they slightly changed the formula since I tried it. But I looked at the ingredients and all the goodness that I really liked about the previous version is still in there, so it should still be a really good product to me. This is the best propolis ampoule if you have combo or oily skin because it doesn't feel as heavy and thick as some of the other popular propolis ampoules from Cosorex, for instance. It has almost like a runny texture, but still a slight oily slick to it. The reason why this is so wonderful is because it feels very soothing and I always felt that this is one of the best ampoules to try to really calm down areas of breakouts. I can't promise you that it will magically heal your acne or your breakouts, but at least from my experience, because I remember using this when I really had struggled with some weird hormonal acne going on all of a sudden. I think it's just perimenopause, just sometimes making my skin go insane. And I have breakouts here all over my chin. And using this ampoule really seemed to help make them fade away faster. It contains, of course, propolis, which is wonderful for a variety of reasons. It's moisturizing, it is anti-inflammatory, antifungal, even antibacterial. It's very healing and nourishing and soothing. And then it also contains turmeric extract and a couple of other hydrators. It's one of the best products from Wish Trend, hands down, and another one I kind of miss, if I'm honest. And the next shop that I highly recommend <laughs> you check out is Olive Young Global. Now, you all know I'm a big Olive Young fan. Um, for me, as a creator and as a reviewer, it's just the best source to shop because they usually get all the new stuff earlier than other international shops. Because Olive Young is the number one uh, health and beauty store in Korea, so they really have uh, the easiest access to all of these new things. Because all the Korean brands want to be sold at Olive Young, because it's the most prestigious shop to to be sold at. So very often they're also the official distributors for a lot of brands. And they also are the big conglomerate behind a lot of popular brands, such as Collagram, for instance. And then was it either Wakemake or Rome and One of them is also actually a CJ brand, plus a Botanical Heal, uh, no, Bio Heal, what are they called? BOH, and um, Bring Green, Round Around. A lot of the brands that you love are actually made by the same company, that is also Olive Young. For Black Friday, Olive Young already started with some Black Friday deals. They have basically a whole Black Friday month, which again, I don't know how I feel about these early Black Friday sales. I think it takes the fun out of it a little bit. 
And just as with Wish Trend, I would actually wait a little bit before you snatch up any of those deals. At the moment, I've checked the prices. The reductions and discounts are not yet super impressive. And I feel there's more to come next week and the week after. One product recommendations I already want to give you. And if you do want to get this one, this specific product deal, I would be fast if I were you because I have a feeling it might sell out very fast because this deal is actually really crazy. So this product deal that I'm talking about is their Black Friday beauty box. This beauty box costs only $49.90 and it contains so many full-sized items that are popular at the moment. Amongst them, the Cosrx Snail Essence that everyone wants, the Skin Food Carrot Toner Pads, the Carrot Carotene Toner Pads, most popular toner pads in Korea by far, except maybe for the Meta Heal ones, I will talk about in a second. And then a full size and a mini size of the Round Lab Birch Sunscreen, most popular sunscreen in Korea still. The Toradin Cleansing Foam, also hyper popular on Hua He, the number one skin care and uh, beauty app in Korea. Uh, plus the Clio Kill Cover Eyeliner, I believe in brown plus a mini makeup remover, a collagram lip shading stick, a mise-en-scene hair treatment, you get an Innisfree sheet mask, and a mini Skin 1004 Centella cream. So all of this together is worth like over a hundred bucks and you get it for under $50. This is a really, really good deal. If you are interested in these products, or maybe if you want to, um, you know, get a gift for someone who's new to K-Beauty, this is, this is perfect. I do think it will be sold out pretty fast. It's already at the number of top spots uh, at the best, their bestseller list. So if you want this one, I would be super fast. I would get this now. As for other products to get from Olive Young, may I introduce you to these, these bad boys? <laughs> here, <laughs> my little tower that um, that is going to grow because I ordered another, <laughs> another version of these. I'm obsessed with these at the moment. And it's not just me because these are super hyped at the moment in Korea. They are the MediHeal toner pads. I have talked about these before, certainly about this particular one, which is my favorite. This is the enzyme version. What's it called? Phytoenzyme peeling pad. I talked about these in my video about how to get glowing skin or which products to use for glowing skin. These, highly underrated at the moment, they really do brighten up and polish the skin in a way that I've never seen before. I'm obsessed with these. The most popular ones within Korea, however, are these ones. These are the metacasticide ones. They're soothing. They're really good if you have more uh, blemish-prone and oily skin. And they contain metacasticide extract, so they're anti-inflammatory, really beautiful. These are also trending at the moment. That's why I got them. These are their retinol collagen ones. To be honest, these ones I don't like as much. I don't really... I don't know, they just don't seem to do much for me. But these two are both excellent. If you only want to get one of them, I would recommend this one because it just really gives you the most beautiful polished glass skin that I've ever seen. However, I do have to warn you, they all contain fragrance. They all contain essential oils, so they're not for people who are sensitive or allergic to fragrance. As for the pricing, these already are quite well discounted at Olive Young at the moment. Uh, they have a double pack with a refill options. One of those usually has between 90 and 100 pads, and then you get double the amount, so around 200 pads for, I think it's like $35 for the double pack or even only $30, something around that. So really, really good deal in my opinion. And I can really highly recommend them. Again, just if you're allergic to fragrance, then these won't work, but otherwise these are fantastic and they're super trending in Korea. These are 
popular in Korea and Koreans do use them. I can promise you that. And another really great product to get at Olive Young specifically because they usually have some type of set value deal going on, some value pack with freebies or extras or even a one plus one deal is my favorite Korean hair treatment, spray treatment that I've tried this year. I'm obsessed with this to the point that I'm almost finished and have already reordered because I my hair cannot live without this. And it's the Healing Bird No Wash Ultra Protein Ampoule Treatment. Mine is almost empty, as I've said, because I've used this pretty much with every wash. And I have tried some other treatment sprays that are popular, but nothing beats this one in my opinion. It truly is the best one I've tried. The reason why I like this so, so much is because it really gives some extra shine to my hair. My hair is quite dull overall for some reason. I think it's because I'm starting to go gray. And even though I dye over the grays, <laughs> I just feel gray hair kind of stays dull. It has a really weird different texture. I don't know. I just, I'm not that happy with my perimenopausal hair, to be honest. But what can you do? You gotta, you gotta work with what you've got, right? Once you hit 40. And this really does add some shine. And it also really is surprisingly nourishing for the hair, even though it's just a spray treatment. And funnily enough, I usually have trouble with protein based products, hair products, because I get protein overload very easily with my hair. This, I've never had a problem. This one never makes my hair feel heavy. It never sort of frizzes out the hair or anything. It really strengthens and nourishes the hair. And it's this really just nothing negative I can say about it. This is excellent. And I love how easy it is to just spray on. And um, yeah, I think it's better than... What's the other one that I've tried that is also really popular? I've forgotten the name. I'll put it down somewhere here. <laughs> that one I don't think is as good. This one also has nice fragrance, so it also smells nice. It's fantastic. Watch out for set or value packs so that you might get some extra freebies with it. And usually Olive Young actually has the best price on this, especially during sales. And then we have, of course, Stylevana. Now Stylevana, mm, it's kind of a hit and miss key beauty address for me personally. I've had trouble with packages getting lost or not being sent off. Uh, it's always a bit messy. However, they do offer the best prices, especially for staple products. It's very hard to find a cheaper option than Stylevana. During Black Friday, I find because they already are so cheap, you can't expect super impressive discounts. What usually happens is that they have some type of coupon deal that is sort of stacked uh, depending on how much you buy. So you, they have 10% if you purchase $50, 12% uh, if you buy $70 worth of product and so on and so forth. So the discounts are usually between 10 to 18% with a coupon that is usually announced in the week of Black Friday. At the moment, they're already running a pre-Black Friday sale. But again, if I were you, I would wait until the actual Black Friday week. Also, I would just, just not expect the packages to arrive fast. You might be lucky, but usually during Black Friday, because of the increased sales volume, usually they send packages off later or with some sort of delay. That's just what you have to accept. For that, you get the cheap pricing, right? One important thing to always double check, both at Stylevana and also at YesStyle, is if the item is actually in stock. They basically list all items, whether or not they have them available or not. So sometimes it's a little bit tricky to see, uh, but there is like a little, again, I will show this somewhere here or maybe here. I don't know yet where we'll put the screenshot. <laughs> but there's a very small added line where it says either available within, I think it says available within 24 hours or it says in stock or it says something like available in 21 days or even 30 days. So double check if it's actually available within 24 hours 
because otherwise you will have to wait months and months for your package. Otherwise, again, I do think Stylevana is a good option. Just you must develop a sort of zen attitude when it comes, comes to when your order will arrive. As for product recommendations, I kind of went through the Stylevana shop. I haven't ordered there in a while. And of course, you can get all the popular stuff, the Skin 1004 sunscreen and the Cosrx snail essence and all of these things. But I tried to pick out three products that maybe not that many people know about. Number one is this one, this tiny, teeny jar that is almost empty. And it's the Pinconyul Calming Moisture Repair Balm. This is so underrated. It's so beautiful, especially in winter and especially if you have easily dehydrated and sensitive and also very dry skin because this is basically a very thick but still surprisingly silky and even lightweight balm that really helps seal in and lock in all that moisture. I use this sort of like an overnight treatment when my skin is very dehydrated or very lackluster. I use a lot of hydrating ampoules and then I use a tiny, tiny amount of this on top overnight. Every time I do this, my skin the next day just feels so much healthier, bouncier, plumper, and so well nourished overall. Highly, highly recommended. It. It's a tiny jar, but it lasts forever. And you can usually get it for around $8 from uh, Stalvana. Another product that I feel a lot of people overlook that you can get for usually a really good price at Stalvana is the Sioris My Thirst Esna. I don't have this here at the moment, but I did try it and reviewed it on my blog and I really, really liked it. This is a, uh, I guess, an essence toner hybrid. <laughs> it's surprisingly thick in consistency, but once you apply it, it really kind of melts into your skin and has a beautifully light texture. Uh, Sioris is an organic brand from Korea with a really beautiful uh, ethos, I guess. Their brand philosophy is really wonderful. They only use mm, regional, local farming whenever they can for their raw materials. They support a lot of organic farming and they really pay very close attention to the purity of the ingredients. This essence toner contains mugwort extract plus green tea, I think it was green tea water, plus rose water and hyaluronic acid for hydration. And otherwise it's pretty much minimalist, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, uh, minimal preservatives, which is just, you know, what you get with an organic brand. It really just feels very soothing and very hydrating. And there's just something very beautiful about the formula overall. And I think it's almost even better than the I'm from Mugwood Essence, a little bit pricier as well. So, you know, um, you, can, you can make your own purchasing choice, which one you want. But I cannot sing the praises of pretty much all Sioris products highly enough. I truly adore this brand. And then lastly, from Stylevana. Stylevana, the reason why it's such a good address for Asian beauty lovers is because they also have Taiwanese and Japanese skincare and a Japanese classic, a drugstore classic that I really, really love is this humongous toner that, look at this, I've almost used up. I've been so good about using up stuff lately. And this is the famous Naturie Hattomugi Skin Conditioner. Hattomugi is the Japanese word for, what's it called again? I wrote it down somewhere. Job's Tears <laughs> is what it's called. And Job's Tears is a plant extract that is used in Asian skincare quite a lot for especially oily skin. It's supposed to help with regulating and balancing out excessive oil production. It's anti-inflammatory, highly antioxidant. So it's really good for conditioning uh, oilier and acne prone skin. This toner is really lovely because it's super lightweight. Look, it's basically like a milk and it still feels really, really hydrating. Uh, when I put it on my face, I always feel that it has this beautiful silkiness to it that I really enjoy. And it's usually very, very affordable because again, it's a, it's a massive size. It's like 500 milliliters. 
and costs usually around 10 bucks, especially during a sale. Now, this is the old version of this toner. They've actually reformulated it and now it is alcohol free and it's also fragrance free. So it's a lot more gentle than it used to be because my formula contains alcohol. I still actually liked it and I still found it very hydrating. Highly recommend it, especially for oilier skin types. And then we have Yes Style. Yes Style is a really good purchasing choice if you live in the EU because Yes Style actually already adds that sale tax on top of the, your purchases, so you don't have to go through customs. You already pay your sales tax upfront to YesStyle, and I think they then send it to the various governments to customs. I don't actually know how it works. I just know it works because <laughs> I remember getting my YesStyle package surprisingly fast because it doesn't have to go through the customs process or customs just waves it through because you already paid those in Germany 19% or whatever the taxes. So it does make them seem more expensive. But again, if you actually are from it, especially in a EU country, you will have to pay those fees anyways. So it just makes everything a little bit easier. And you also know upfront how much the item actually costs. As for Black Friday sales, yes, that is kind of comparable to Stylevana that uh, they don't really offer super impressive sales in my opinion, but you do usually get a coupon deal which is uh, between 5 and 15 percent depending on how much you purchase. And then again, don't forget that you can, can also use an extra influencer coupon to get another 2 to 5 percent on top of that. As for product recommendations, I looked through their catalog at the moment. I haven't ordered from them in a long time, to be honest. And I noticed that they have some really, really good prices specifically for Korean makeup. One of the items that I kind of put on my wish list and was like, hmm, should I maybe shop at Yesta? Because I've really been wanting this for a long time. They have a super good deal on the Unleashia Glitterpedia Eye Palette. At the moment, it only costs $13.83 at Yesta, which is a really good price. Unleashia is a really interesting <laughs> Korean makeup brand because they're actually not that popular in Korea, but they are super popular in Japan, apparently. So I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> that's what I heard more popular in Japan. Their glitter palettes in particular are influencer beloved. And I've seen a lot of influencers that I actually really trust in their opinion say that the quality of those glitters apparently is top notch. I love me a good glitter palette. So yeah, this one, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm very tempted to get it to be honest. And speaking of eyeshadow palettes, a, an eyeshadow palette that I really love and can highly recommend uh, is the T-Chic or D-Chic uh, eyeshadow palette. I have three different ones from that palette. No, four. I actually got a fourth one. Oh my God. I shop too much. I, I always excuse it by saying it's part of my job, you know? <laughs> I just need stuff to introduce you to. That's why I do it. Only that's why I do it. Only reason. Um, yeah, so the T-Chic <laughs> eyeshadow palette. Uh, the one that I really, really love the most and reach for the most is this one, um, which doesn't look as good anymore as it used to, so it's not very presentable. But this is the uh, Chocolate Fudge eyeshadow palette and it has these beautiful chocolatey browns and amazing glitters which I really have used so much these past months. The quality of the T-Chic sh shadows is just so so good. They're really well pigmented. They're very creamy, very buttery and the glitters are usually really well pigmented and just apply very smoothly. I sometimes find that glitter from Korean makeup brands, uh, looking at you there Rome and can be a little bit chunky and not very nice to apply but these are always buttery smooth. Uh, the quality is really there with these. They are usually quite pricey at Olive Young, but I realized that at Yes Style, uh, the palette at the moment is only around $22. That is a really, really good price for them. At Olive Young, they're usually around $40. 
So that's another one to maybe get during your Black Friday shopping. And another hyper viral, hyper popular Korean makeup item that you can get very cheaply at the moment at Yes Style is the Rome and Glasting Melting Balm. This is probably the number one lip trend at the moment in Korea. These Vaseline style, very sort of melty, shiny lip balms, tinted lip balms. Every brand is bringing them out at the moment, but I would say the most viral ones are these Rome Ant ones. I've not tried them yet. I ordered one from Out of Young a while ago. Should arrive soon, I hope, <laughs> with a bunch of other stuff. And I'm really, really curious about the formula. I have heard very good things about them. And the shade range is really beautiful. At the moment, you can get those at Yes Style for only $7.34. So this is a really good price. At Olive Young, they usually cost around, I think, $15. So yeah, another product recommendations for your Black Friday sale. And then the last shop I want to highlight is Jolce. Jolce is a Korea-based shop that I think a lot of influencers don't really promote as much because they they do have an affiliate program, but you, you don't get very great commission from it. <laughs> so I think that might be the reason. <laughs> they really are a good source for not just the popular brands, but also a couple of lesser known, very interesting brands such as Costa Baja, uh, Kernology 95. Those are the two that come to mind at the moment. And they always have so many deals to the point that I would say you do not need to wait for Black Friday to shop there. They will have a Black Friday sale for sure, but I'm guessing the discounts will be what they usually are, <laughs> which is, I mean, they have good discounts. So if you feel like shopping and it happens to be Black Friday, Jolce, it's, it's as good a day as any day to shop at Jolce. They usually have time deals for certain products. So you get a very reduced price for 24 hours. And they always have weekly brand deals. So for instance, at the moment, a bib is like 60% off. So just double check what is trending or what is promoted or discounted on Jolce and then decide to make your shopping choices. At the moment, and I think all the way through the end of November, Jolce is also offering free shipping on all shipments. So you don't have a maximum, uh, a minimum order amount and uh, you get free uh, normal regular shipping. Usually the shipping is surprisingly fast. I find they sent off the orders very fast. They used to be a little bit flaky about this when they started out a couple of years ago but lately they've always been really impressing me with their shipping times as for product recommendations specifically from jolce i decided to just share three things that are <laughs> on my jolce wish list <laughs> the first one is the abib rice probiotics overnight mask barrier jelly long title for what actually seems to be a very intriguing product the reason why i'm kind of tempted to get this why it's been on my wish list for a while is that a number of influences that i really respect and believe are very genuine have been raving about this for at least like two years or so it's been on my radar for a while this is a jelly-like overnight mask it contains predominantly rice extract and it's a fermented rice extract so it should be really good for brightening in particular because it has this gel like jelly like texture it should be really beautiful specifically for people who don't want anything too hyper nourishing and who have more skin that is on the dehydrated but not too dry side i really want to try this i have liked pretty much everything from a bib that i've tried so far i also think that jolzi has the best pricing on a bib overall as long as it's on um, they have one of their you know sales on a bib at the moment you can get this for like 12 dollars usually it's more like 20 dollars it's a hundred mil so it's a huge package or 80 mil 80 or 100 mil but it's a, a large size jar 
and it probably lasts forever and for that price you can't really go wrong a bit also is always fragrance and alcohol free so very sensitive skin friendly and then also on my wish list is a product that I don't know yet how I feel about it, but that's why I kind of want to try it out because <laughs> I feel I won't know until I've tried it. It has gone hyper viral on TikTok for reasons that I still don't quite understand. I actually suspect they just send PR <laughs> to a number of smaller TikTok influencers and now everyone suddenly raves about this serum. This serum is now popular in Korea, but it's become a global phenomenon and it's the uh, Anua Peach 70 niacin serum this does look intriguing to me however i do think the hype is a little bit overhyped because they call it the glass skin serum and it makes your skin shiny and amazing i don't know if it can do all of that but it does contain niacinamide it contains peach extract which is an antioxidant plus a huge number of humectants so it should be really juicy make the skin really juicy and bouncy and plump up the skin plus it contains a couple of fermented ingredients and i'm suspecting that's why it gives you that glass skin sheen so yeah i think this one i will get potentially during black friday because Jolsey does have a really good sales price on it usually around 17 to 20 dollars and I just really do want to see what the fuss is about because <laughs> I also feel you'll probably start asking me about this soon because it just is so popular. I still think it is a little bit, I think it is a, a, a bit of a marketing hype, but that doesn't mean the product isn't good, you know? So uh, if you're as curious as me, I think Joltsi is the best address to get this one uh as long as there is a sale going for anua skincare and then i was also thinking of maybe getting the isn't tree ultra low molecular hyaluronic acid toner the isn't tree hyaluronic acid toner back in like 2017 was the it toner in k-beauty everyone was crazy about it isn't tree has now reformulated it and I think not that many Western influencers have picked up on this reformulation yet. However, it is very popular in Korea. It's among the top three toners on Huawei, which is the number one skincare app and number one skincare review app in Korea. It has huge influence on what Koreans use and purchase. And to get the top three spot, you gotta be a really spectacular toner. I think it kicked off even the Tokto toner out of the top three. So, you know, uh, this one, I think I have to try. It's also really quite affordable, usually around $14. Isn't Tree also just like Anua and Abib, usually very sensitive, skin-friendly, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and it contains a number of different types of hyaluronic acid. So it's probably super hydrating and gentle. So yeah, this one I think will also go into my potential, potential Chelsea order. Whew. So that was it. My Black Friday 2023 Black Friday video. If you want to stay up to date about all the Black Friday deals that are starting to pour in one by one, make sure to check out my blog post. It's a very easy to navigate list. It's basically just alphabetical and sort of put into geographical areas. So I have Asia-based or Korea-based uh, shops, then European-based ones, and those shops that are relevant and have good deals from North America. I don't list every single tiny, teeny uh, K-beauty shop, just the most relevant ones or the larger ones, so Soko Glam and some of the better deals from the Amazon brand shops. And I really try to update the list as much as I can throughout the next weeks. So please check that out. And I hope this video helped you a little bit to get inspired about what to get during Black Friday. If you're new here, uh, it would be wonderful if you stick around, subscribe, that would be fantastic. I am trying, I'm hoping that I might get to 1000 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm so close guys, I'm so close. <laughs> it would be amazing if I get there. Finally had the 1K. 
and maybe also leave a comment and a like and yeah it would be great if you joined my little tiny td community and again i hope i helped you a little bit navigate the black friday sales make sure to check out my blog post and i see you again next week for a new video until then take care bye